5 Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic was just announced and alongside this announcement we just got our first teaser and our first look at the Mimic. And even more recently we just got our first look at the gameplay of Secret of the Mimic from a demo that fans were able to enjoy and experience. And from this demo we learn a lot about this game's mechanics, story, and even new possible characters. But more specifically we learned a lot about where this game is going to take place and I think this location is the key to connecting FNAF Secret of the Mimic to FNAF Ruin. Secret of the Mimic is going to take place in a factory or warehouse and I believe that it's the same factory that we find in the sinkhole at the end of Ruin and where the Mimic is revealed. So in this video, I'm going to go over why this simple factory not only solves the Mimic and his motives, but why it's the key to connecting these two FNAF projects. Like I mentioned, we learn a lot about this game's new animatronics and mascots from this demo, and I think it's clear that it's these mascots that directly connect FNAF Secret of the Mimic to FNAF Ruin. In Ruin and in the room where the Mimic is revealed, we saw different mascots that we assume the Mimic wore in different time periods throughout the franchise, we saw a lion, an elephant, and a bird. The Mimic even wears the lion mascot in the scooper ending where he was ultimately removed from this mascot by this scooping machine. It's clear that these mascots are decades old as they appear withered and destroyed, but this was our first time seeing these mascots in the entire history of the franchise, but now we know where they came from. Although recording wasn't allowed in the demo, we still have a detailed description of everything we saw in this demo, including new animatronics and mascots. Based on these descriptions of the demo, in the factory or warehouse where Secret of the Mimic is going to take place, mascot animatronics are scattered around like a dog mascot and this octopus animatronic that we see in this poster. We see a lot of new mascots that might have some role in this new game, but most importantly, it was revealed that we also saw the same mascots that we see in Ruin. Specifically, we see the same elephant mascot from the Mimic's room, just with a slightly different design as at this point, the mascot is completely new compared to when we saw it in Ruin when it's decades old. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the other two mascots in this game as it progresses and there's even a chance that the Mimic or Jackie dons these mascots at different periods in this game or that she uses them in different ways. Again, it's clear that these mascots are how Secret of the Mimic and Ruin are directly connected, but now the question stands, how did these mascots end up from this factory to the sinkhole in FNAF Ruin? There are many solutions to this mystery, but I want to introduce an idea that is popular, but I haven't seen anyone else introduce this specific theory. We all know that the Pizza Plex was built on top of the FNAF 6 Pizzeria, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, but in Ruin, we learned that that this pizzeria was built on top of the caves and on another location. It's heavily theorized what this location is, as some believe it's the FNAF sister location bunker or even the FNAF 4 Afton family house. But what if this location is actually the factory or warehouse where FNAF Secret of the Mimic is going to take place? When looking at the second location under the Pizzaplex, it doesn't match the style of the Pizzaplex or the FNAF 6 pizzeria, it appears to be much older and withered. It's made up of wooden planks and metal, and this location is almost built into the caves, showing how old it really is. But the style of this location is exactly the same as the factory from Secret of the Mimic. The factory is described to be made from wooden planks, it's described as very old and withered, but most importantly, it was revealed that as the demo went on, the player went deeper into the factory. Just like Cassie went deeper into this location in the sinkhole, so the way both locations work where they have multiple layers and floors are identical and even FNAF made this connection. So now we're basically running from this jack-in-the-box thing through like the underground depths of this place. It looked very old, very wooden, kind of like the structure we see in Ruin, like the staircases to get down to the Mimic, it looked like that kind of, I didn't put that together until just now. So we also have this picture of the cameras of the factory showing off different rooms and areas. When comparing these monitors to the location under the sinkhole, they have a very similar style, especially since they are both built using wooden planks that look identical. And this just further proves the idea that they're the same factory. Not only are the factories described to be the same, but this would also be a perfect explanation to how the mascot ended up in the Pizzaplex. These mascots were never taken from this factory to the Pizzaplex like many of us assumed, they never even left. The reason these mascots are still down in this factory under the Pizzaplex is because that's where they were first brought to and again they never left. It would also be another great explanation to the scooping room. The scooper in Ruin has always been another big mystery as some believe it's a new machine made for this location or that it's the same scooper from FNAF Sister location. But if these two factories are the same, that means this machine isn't new and it also isn't the same scooper from Sister location. It would be an entirely different machine that was made just for this factory and we can assume it would extract the endoskeleton from the mascot animatronics and that's why there's so many empty mascot suits in this demo as they were left behind by the scooper. Also, 
originally in Ruin, we learned from cut content that is in an out-of-bound area that this game was going to include a tease for a future project related to a carnival. Now we can assume that this carnival is going to reference FNAF Secret of the Mimic, but what if it was going to tease something from the factory itself? Like another mascot too, or something else making it clear that this location is a factory. It was also revealed that in the demo, we saw a hallway filled with Fredbear Family Diner posters, and they're the exact same posters as the one we find in Security Breach. So what if the reason we also find these posters in Security Breach is because they came from the location under the Pizza Plex? They aren't actually easter eggs or references to Fredbear's Family Diner, but they're a reference to the factory where they came from and the factory that is in the sinkhole. In the demo, we also learned that a room was filled with different cardboard cutouts of different animatronics, and what do we find in the caves or in this factory that also unlocks a secret ending. That's right, a Fredbear cardboard cutout. It has always been a mystery how this cardboard cutout made its way all the way down to this location, but what if this was because of the same reason as the mascots? The reason we find this cardboard cutout in the caves is because it never left, and like the posters, this is a direct reference to the factory and the idea that it's been right under the pizza plex the entire time. But most importantly, if this is true, that also means that the mimic never left either, and this would actually make a lot of sense. Unlike in the books where the mimic was shipped to the pizza plex, what if the Mimic has always been down in the sinkhole and down in this factory? Which is why the Mimic is doing everything in his power to escape the sinkhole as he's been there since 1979 as that's when we know Secret of the Mimic is going to take place. Even in the canon ending, Gregory makes it clear that the Mimic has been down there for a very long time, insinuating that he wasn't shipped there in the games like we all thought. He is directly confirming that the Mimic has been down there for a very long time, and we can assume it's because he never left. But if this is also true, that means that everything we see in Secret of the Mimic should also be done in the sinkhole, like the music box that seems to have a major role in this game, and the Jackie show that the Mimic will also wear in this game. Now this may seem like a stretch, and by no means is this a perfect theory, but when looking at all the evidence from both games, I really do believe that the factory being under the pizza plex will be one of the big twists revealed in FNAF Secret of the Mimic. So with that said, if I Five Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic is connected to Ruin by these animal mascots that we can find in both projects. And more specifically, the reason we also find these mascots in Ruin is because the factory or warehouse where Secret of the Mimic is going to take place is the location that is under the FNAF 6 Pizzeria. We know this because of the mascots, the Fredbear Family Diner posters found in Security Breach, and because of this Fredbear cardboard cutout in the caves that is also described to be found in Secret of the Mimic. And again, the reason we find these things down in the sinkhole is because they never left, and this includes the Mimic or Jackie. Which means that Jackie has been stuck in this factory since 1979 when Secret of the Mimic took place. But remember, this is just a theory. I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I attempt to connect FNAF Secret of the Mimic to Ruin by introducing the idea that the factory where this game takes place is the same factory we find under the sinkhole. So what do you guys think? How are these two games connected and is it through this factory? So make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and thank you guys so much for watching.